My mom and dad came to America shortly after they got married. When my parents came in 1927, they came for the opportunities that America has to offer to immigrants that might not have been able to have uh, in Palestine at that time. I was born uh, a couple of years after they arrived. Out of all the five kids, my parents were only able to send me to college. And because of a wonderful art teacher, I was accepted into Pratt Institute. And I spent my education in the art field at Pratt Institute. That enabled me to be a successful designer, to work with successful clients. I was working for clients like New York Times, AT&T, De Beers Diamonds, Lennox. I've done work for the United States government. We designed the sim transportation symbols in 1974 for the United States Department of Transportation. I've had a lot of innings, a lot of good innings in the field that I was working in. And after a couple of trips to the Middle East, I started focusing a little more on who I was. What is my art doing to make things better? I was determined that I had to do something that could create a public awareness relating to the situation that's occurring at this moment in the occupied territories. So I started uh, designing and producing what I call sculptural assemblage. And through these pieces of art, address various inequities, situations of what was happening in the Middle East. Home demolition, unequal distribution of water, collective punishment, living in an in a occupied environment. Ramallah was a very small town when my parents left in 1927. Might have been two or 3,000. But after Israel, the state of Israel was created, there were 800,000 refugees that were forced out of their homes. But I often thought about what, what would happen if they decided to stay? W would I be here today? With the, the feeling I have, and maybe more so living in that environment, I could easily have been killed. People have been killed for throwing stones. I may have done more, more things than throwing stones. I don't know. Considering America is my home, my only home, it's very really disheartening to be able to be a success in the, the field that gave me the, uh, wonderful opportunities. I have a disappointment in my work not being exhibited. It's an honest representation of something that's happening at this very moment. I was under the feeling that it was too sensitive a, uh, a message. It was a message that uh, was not even reported by our news media. As I saw it, as it was happening, I feel this urge to do what I'm doing because it's so important. Hope is my name, Raji, means hope in Arabic. And I hope, I truly hope that things may come around all peoples having the right to live in a peaceful manner with each other.